And that episode was entitled Daddy Issues. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is a continue. I think we got we gotta do this. We have to do this one alone. There was way too much to unpack to do a two parter with this. Oh no, I I intended to, you know, talk to you just about doing it separately, especially when we got about okay, halfway good. through the epi- halfway through the episode. <laughs> so I honestly don't even know where to begin. Like, where do we even begin? <laughs> what the fuck is this show? I I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely I, I, confused. I'm genuinely confused about the direction that this show is taking. Like, er, like earnestly. Like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> And not in a let's find out kind of way, more than a what the fuck kind of way. Precisely. Precisely. I, we What do we got? We got we got Discount Grayson hooking up with, with the alleged Joker's daughter. We'll get into that later. We got the big gay between uh, the two other females in the show who aren't the Joker's daughter or Robin. I don't even know their names. You know, that's how much I care. And then you, you <laughs> got, and then we get like an almost a big gay moment between the girl's brother and Discount Grayson. So like, I don't know. I, I'm hoping that's more of a bromance moment because they did just hug. But with this show, they wouldn't have the, they wouldn't have the self-respect to just make it a bromance. I was going to say bromance, camaraderie, Friendship, you know, these are things that aren't in shows anymore. It's either we're the big gay <laughs> or that's it. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Either you're the big gay or you're a toxic white male. That's it. That's pretty much what's going on in these shows. In this episode, the title of it, Daddy Issues, it's like it, this show's like trolling itself. At this point, it's this. The show is bad. The show is horribly bad. The oh gosh, it's you know I've actually looked beyond the acting at this point, and now I'm just looking at all at like the story as a whole. Now, like the acting isn't good, but the, like but when you just don't even pay attention to the acting anymore, and it's just the actual plot and what's going on, you're just like for fuck's sake. I can't get over the fact that they have. Fucking Duella at age eight walking around Arkham. A child would be like, they would not let a child be in that building. They'd be, yeah. they'd, they'd pop out and go to foster care. What the fuck are they talking about? And then they try and like lampshade it by having Turner be like, what the fuck? And they just, it drops. Oh, yeah, it's, it's completely fine though. <laughs> It's completely fine. They just they just gloss over it, you know. It's like there's no way in hell an eight year old is even in getting into Gotham Asylum in the first place, let alone roaming the halls, let alone getting treats out of a from a orderly from a vending machine. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, I feel like man. Arkham wouldn't have vending machines. It- <laughs> You know what? The, the vending machines is a little bit more believable than fucking a little girl roaming the halls. And then uh. they fucking... Uh, they do the whole... They completely forgot that Harvey lost his fight to Two-Face in the last in the last episode. Because yes. he completely lucid that entire that entire episode. Correct. So I'm fucking yeah. confused. I'm genuinely confused. Um, they they make a point of saying that what's her name, blonde girl's father, that the court set her father up. I'm like, no, he went to make a drug deal. Like that was him. <laughs> yeah. Instead of putting his wife in a nice psychiatric facility to actually treat her. For her, you know, mental illnesses, he's like making drug deals in an alley in the middle of the day. 
and then using his show and becoming a contestant as incentive for more drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and I said this while we were watching it. Now stand uh, by it. No one watches. No one watches um, trivia shows as like primetime entertainment since Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was taken out. Was taken back to it to like the noonday slot. Exactly. Precisely. And, like, yeah, so Harvey is now, like, we aren't there yet, are we? No, we aren't there. <sighs> this whole fucking show, I'm so irritated. <laughs> they mentioned, like, three times this episode that Batman killed Discount Grayson's parents. Yeah, they apparently, mentioned... ga- yeah they, apparently Batman's killing everyone's parents, so. He killed the Joker again in this continuity. Fucking yep. seriously, the show is fucking irritating. Yes, the show is fucking irritating. Turns yeah, out, go ahead. Turns out, Duella is Harvey's kid. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> From one of his psychotic breaks. Hmm. <laughs> oh man, it, it's bad. You know, it's bad. When uh so the show shits on Batman and they're like, Oh yeah, Batman's killing everybody's parents. You know what's bad when the only person defending him is Harvey Two Face. <laughs> like <laughs> Oh man, when when Two Face is like, uh, are you sure Batman's actually killing? Like, do you know the whole story? <laughs> like that's how you know this. They're fuck this writing is just con- contradictory. They're all over the place. Yeah, you know it's you know it's uh, like when Two Face is the one being like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like get your head out of your ass, like, <laughs> oh man. But yeah, we find out that uh, Two Face has a kid. Duellis his kid. She's not the Joker's daughter. Yet you know what the Joker went along with her mom's plan of letting her, you know, pretend to be his daughter just so she can be safe on the streets and nobody mess with her because the Joker, he's such a nice guy like that. He's he's compassionate and caring and you know, all you know, he just wanted to help this little girl out. You know, that's totally in his personality, in his characterization. So I'm glad they, they stuck to canon on that one. About as much as the rest of the show. <laughs> oh man, the part! Oh my gosh, and the part where, uh, where uh, I forgot the kid's name. It's, oh god, whatever. One of the kids goes to meet Robin because she's clearly been punished for telling her mom that she is Robin and lying to her, which is completely justifiable on the parents' part. And he goes there, and she's like, yeah, I came out to my mom, told her I was Robin. Yeah, I feel like that that should offend the LGBTQ plus community that they played that way. She, Yeah, she's like, oh, yeah, I told my mom I was Robin. I came out. (laughs) And then he's like, how did that go? It's like, fuck off. Like, (laughs) these two scenarios are not the same at all. Like if you are part of the LGBTQ community, you should be offended at this that that fucking statement altogether. This this whole show is just an insult. Yeah, when pandering goes wrong, <laughs> and then the one kid somehow that that's managed to somehow pretend to be a cop all this time. Yeah, and no one has realized that he's just fucking not. This kid comes and goes <laughs> in the GCPD. <laughs> whenever he wants to like he just he doesn't like they don't they don't care who the fuck he is he walks through the precinct like it's nothing he doesn't need a card holder scanner badge number nothing he just fucking walks in just without a care in the world i just want to point out the place where i work has a a fob scanner you need that in order to get in or you need to get get the receptionist to let you in which means the gcpd is less secure than where i work correct correct dude there's always some type of protocol to get into these places you know you just can't 
walk into these, you know, facilities like but apparently if you know if you're in the G apparently you can in the GCPD, so the plot needs to happen, so it happens. Oh gosh. So uh yeah, Duella, Dent's daughter, her mom's like Harvey Dent separated us by throwing me in in Arkham for all these years. I want you to kill him now. Cause he's such a he's a toxic white male. He's the worst. I want you to dead him. Dead him now. And, and she, she pulls shoots. the trigger. She, she does. does. She shoots him. She does. And, and then killed him if it were yeah. fucking oh. car convenience. If it <laughs> 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 he had the best plot armor in the form of that fucking coin. Oh gosh, that coin he's gonna use now to flip for judgment. That's the that's the coin that it they brought him. in. It saved him. So And then Duella it's on the news that Duella is on the run and she's by the way, she's Har she's Harvey Dent's daughter. I'm like, that's wild like what source would have told them that that they would believe enough to put it on the news? Exactly. It's like legit Duella just found out the news herself. <laughs> like like how like this news tra like this news travels pretty fast here. Like this is and, crazy. And I, and I mean I get that she supposedly told what's his name? Court guy, Court of Owls guy. But <laughs> I still feel like the news would at least try to verify things before they treat it as fact. Well, apparently not in Gotham. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't think they said allegedly. He allegedly had a kid. They're like, no, he had a kid. It, it's a thing. But, no, they're like, it's Harvey Dent's daughter, Duella Dent, which is going to hurt his polls. <laughs> That's exactly how that went. This episode it was been, like, allegedly. Crazy. It should have been like, allegedly... Dot, 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 but nope. Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. This episode was fucking nuts, man. Like, there's been a lot of bad ones. This has got to be one of the ones at the top. And I know I feel like we keep saying that every episode. <laughs> we paused this episode uh, more than any other one thus far. Just we to have. be like, what the fuck? We have. This episode is just fucking nuts. Fucking nuts. Oh, man. Yeah. So. Yep. So the, the two the two girls are now have the big gay. And they're now the big gay, which we knew from the Jump Street. Um, yeah, they're, they're the big gay now. Yeah. Well, we knew the one was, but now the other one's discovering she's the big gay, too. Um, and it seemed, it seemed like they were going that same way with the, with the other person with, uh, the big gay's brother might be the big oh. gay for Turner. Yep. Yep. Seems to be that way. Seems to be that way. Remember when they used to have like friends, like genuine, like, I go. I do literally follow you through the pits of how friends in, in media. Remember that? I do. I do remember that. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Nope. It's either you know, either we love each other or uh, somebody toxic or on the someone's the bestest ever. There's there's no in between. Oh, and they did one of the literal self-affirming scenes between the, between the two girls too. You're so beautiful. She's so beautiful and smart and kind. And I'm like, fuck off. Oh yeah, the typical uh, <laughs> the the typical trope for each one of these episodes. It's like, oh, we get we get feelings in clock towers. We get um. You're so amazing. You're the bestest ever. Uh, incompetent men. Dads are shit. Men are shit. 
Oh man, it's it, like this show just never fails. It never fails. However bad we think it is, it always finds finds a way to dig deeper. It always digs deeper. It does. It does. It always finds a way to just get obscenely worse. Will they stop with this Batman killed my parents bullshit, please? I don't think so. Again, I think it's when, when fucking Two Face is like Batman doesn't kill people. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, Batman a has problem. a code. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, when he's like, uh, Batman has a code. He just doesn't kill people. <laughs> uh, but everybody believes, you know, he's such a killer. So because he's a piece of shit. That's also another thing we get every episode. So. Okay, I'm ready to move on. Is there any, is there anything else uh, that we missed? Let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. We we mentioned the drug deal, right? How they said that the the court sabotaged her father or whatever. It's like no, he yep. did the drug deal. Like, <laughs> yep, we mentioned the drug deal. Um. No, I think that's everything. Thank God. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't want to torture you guys even more. Although this show is almost done, so that's a plus. Thank Christ. <laughs> All right. Well, we uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We do ask that you smash that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you guys think. Share this video out there, hit that bell for notifications, and you guys take care. You have a good one.